o'clock, August 24th. We have taken a Greyhound from Seattle after staying there for two days, all the way up to Chelan, and now we are staying at campground and we're gonna take the Lady of the Lake tomorrow. And then we go up to Stahican and start hiking from there. And then only eight more days left on the trail, which is kind of sad. But off we go. <laughs> We're getting ready, just about to leave. We stayed at Bridge Creek Campground. It was really nice. There's quite a few other hikers here. And now off we go. Mom's foot is not doing good at all. So we'll probably only be able to do a 23 today. But that's okay. Because we're gonna hit garbage camps, which is nice. <laughs> It's one o'clock and we're finally having lunch. And I'm having my cupcake from the Stahegan Bakery. It does not look that appetizing right now, but I'm sure it'll taste good. We're at Hideaway Camp. It's very hot out. I don't like it. <laughs> It's 2.12. So far we've hiked 12 kilometers today. Really slow day, but I mean, the views are really nice and we've already had a little snack break and it is kind of raining, so now we just had another break. But yeah, it's going in and out. Really cold weather though. I almost got rid of my gloves and I'm so glad I didn't by me. They're so thin that I highly doubt that they'll do anything anyways. So off we go to hike another 12 kilometers. Oh, that's a lot of kilometers. I'm joking. An hour ago, we were over there. Now we're on top of Metho Pass. It's very beautiful out. And this is a very boring video. It's seven o'clock. I'm having macaroni, my favorite. And we're staying at Methyl River tonight. Just over there is the next water. We got a perfect bed hay over there. And it's a nice cool temperature. But lots of mosquitoes. And we're eating close to the tent, which is bad. It's 11 o'clock and we already did five kilometers. We're definitely just taking our time now because we have to wait till Alex catches up to us. So my day is going really great because I stepped in some crap. That's not mine. So yeah, just and bugs are really nice too. So you can tell 
how great it is right now. 13 miles to Hearts Pass. Is soon what we will climb. Dun, dun, dun. It's 11.20, we're leaving Hearts Pass now. It's definitely gonna be a easy couple days because we're waiting for Alex to finally catch up to us because he's so slow. Ugh. But yeah, only 30 miles to the terminus and then another 30 miles back to Hearts Pass. But it's gonna be kind of weird thinking that we only have a couple four to five more days left on the trail and then my dad will come and pick us up. It's 710, the end of day 121. We're staying on a mountain ridge somewhere. Uh, 34 kilometers to Canada. It is pretty exciting to know that, but I mean, we're not even going to be able to touch the border tomorrow because we still have to wait for Alex. But the next day, we're going to touch the border and then we're going to hike as far as we can back. And then we're just one step closer to home. Today we did 14 or 15 kilometers, which is pretty good considering that we left at 11.30 and we just took our sweet time hiking and took lots of breaks in between, but just definitely enjoying the last three, four days until we get off and then go back to school, which is gonna be really weird. But just a beautiful little canyon. Are you serious? We're 30, no, we're 24 kilometers away from the border or less. And now there's fires. I hope they're not by the trail. Yet another fire over there. There, and of course, over there, We're surrounded in the ring of fire. So, we're up on the viewpoint and all around us. Not that much of views, but smokiness. But eventually, we'll go down to the lake. You can see the trail. But first, we gotta drop 3,000 feet or <laughs> more. But, because of the fires, there might be some good news coming towards us. We might be able to enter through Canada instead of having to go back the 30 miles. Because, I mean, as much as I loved hiking Hearts Pass and going up and down the hills a lot, I prefer to just keep going and only do 12 kilometers instead of 50. leaving all of our stuff here. Slack packing the last 10 kilometers to the northern terminus. It's kind of exciting. All I have right now is just some snacks and water. My filter 
it's kind of exciting and also sad that we're almost done the trip and then again the weather is not looking the best so i think the sooner we get off the better that's the other fires so just gotta hike fast and hopefully alex will finally catch up to us because we're still waiting for him Just over there, you can see the clear cut of the Canadian border and Charlie's gross hands just touched my camera so now it's gonna be disgusting. But there's the Canadian, there's the American, there's the Canadian border. It's pretty exciting. Only a few more switchbacks and then we're gonna touch the northern terminus. But the dumb part is that we have to walk back 50 kilometers because Canada won't let us go back in our own country through the wilderness. So we touched the northern terminus. It was kind of cool. I didn't think I would cry, but I did. But yeah, it was pretty, it's weird to think that we came from Mexico in April, April 30th. And we're, we were in Canada September 31st. Just two days ago, there was just plume of smoke there. You can see all the mountains and the trail. And now we're breathing in smoke and swimming in the sea of smoke. It's terrible, but we're almost done. Tonight is the last night of the PCT 2022. I have a massive unibrow right now and my face is really dirty, but it's a really long hike and I don't know. I'm kind of sad that it's over, but I have to go back to school in five days. So, so that's going to be definitely a change from being out like the beautiful nature and sitting in a classroom for six hours a day <laughs> i'm really great for my mom taking us on this hike and spending all this time and money on us so we could hike across america and it's also weird to say that april 30th we were uh mexican border net then we made it to Canada, even though we didn't hike the whole trail. We made it there eventually, maybe with some shortcuts. But yeah, it's, it's weird to think that our journey is almost done. It is 8.30. <laughs> <laughs> 
the last day on the PCT. We have 14 kilometers to go, and then there's gonna be a little bit of a shortcut. It's crazy to think that it's the end of the trail in just a few hours, but I think we're all ready to go home and have our own personal space for a little bit. And that is the last campsite of the PCT 2022 for the Ohenstone family. <laughs> We're gonna get out today, probably around one, hopefully. We only have 11 kilometers to go. And then we get to see our dad that we haven't seen in four months. Apparently he's bringing cherries and watermelon. So it's gonna be happy times. But off we go. The last few kilometers. We're now hiking down the last few hundred meters of the PCT for this year. Um, my dad is here. Look at him. What would my trail name be? 5K. <laughs> he hiked. 5k of the PCT. Great accomplishment. <laughs> but yeah, there's the road there. And soon I won't be aware of the heavy pack for a long time. This is the last time we're on the PCT for this year. And goodbye, PCT. It's kind of sad that it's done, but it'll be nice. Off we go. And there in the distance is the track. Oh my goodness, this is weird. It feels like we haven't even left on a hike. 